Okay, Jack, just tell us about this one. Um, just came out flat, we never find our footing offensively. Uh, we did a little bit of good things, but not good enough to uh, obviously have the result in our favor. Um, can you talk about ball security? You had a, a few fumbles. Um, I think we put the ball in the ground three times, only lost it one time uh, as a unit, but obviously, yeah, we can't, we can't be doing that. I gotta get better at that. Um, how was it going against this, this defense? Uh, I mean, they're a talented bunch, but you know, like we say every week, we don't really care how good or how bad the opponent is. It's on us to will our way to make it happen. Uh, we just didn't get that done today. So what's the plan going into uh, Mississippi College? We don't, you know, we don't care about playoff implications, whether we're, whether we're out or not, whatever. We're going to give it our all. We're going to give it a great week of preparation to just come out um, hopefully play a great game next Saturday. Um, Shadarian, just from a defensive perspective, just talk about today's game. Uh, I feel like we came out and gave our big plays early. You know, we could never just seem to stop the passing, really. And um, I feel like once we got down, it was just hard to you know, come back up. Uh, you made that big interception and kind of like stopped the momentum for them. Just talk about uh, reading that play and making that happen. Uh, we just trying to make plays on defense. We always talk about getting the ball back. So every play we go out there, try to get the ball back. It so happened. I had just caught the pick. All right, uh, just going into to next week with Mississippi College, it's a team you've already seen. Just talk about your your preparation from a defensive point perspective. Uh, from a defensive point, we just got to you know, go out there and play harder. Just play better and play together as a unit. And that's that really it. How do you keep just the morale up after something like this? Uh, really, we, we just keep our heads up, you know, just keep moving, keep moving forward. We, we feel like we go have a good week of practice. We're gonna have a good game. You know, we just gotta keep working hard. Just talk about the, the game from a your your perspective from the defense. I mean, we started off a little rough and everything. We started picking it up, but it seemed like I think we all just started getting a little flat toward the end. It just seemed like I ain't gonna go on our way. Um, just talk about that block kick and being able to read that and, and make that happen. Uh, um, I just came off the ball low and hard. And Ended up coming open to me. Uh, what are some things that you're going to work work on, prepare for uh, Mississippi College next week? When, when Jordan, the main thing we're mainly going to be working on is trying to keep our head up after a tough loss like this and focusing on stopping the triple option. Talk about this game from a defensive perspective. Um, here and there, there was a little nicks and stuff, so I feel like we can next week. We, I feel like we can get it all sweat away and everything as far as the defensive side. Uh, we held our own, I would say. It just, like I said, a little stuff. A little stuff. Um, talk about that big play with the fumble return. Honestly, it just see ball, get ball at that point. I was just in the heat of the moment. I just seen ball, ran and got it, just took off. So that's about it. Going into next week, um, how do you guys prepare, especially with a team that you've already seen before? Um, same game plan we did the first time we played them. Uh, just we might clean up a little uh, stuff here and there, but I think we'll be good with the same game plan we uh, went in the game with the first time we played them. Just talk us through this one. Uh, we just, I don't know, we uh, played a good football team, obviously. You got to give credit to them. Um, we didn't, uh, didn't play very well. You know, we had a really bad second quarter. Kind of got away from us there, and that's what it did do against good teams. We just didn't sustain drives, didn't you know? I felt like early on we, we won the field position battle, but then we uh, let them extend drives, um, and you know they, they hit on a couple, a couple big plays, a you know third and ten and a fourth and ten, and we just really couldn't get anything going offensively to sustain, sustain a drive. So uh, it just kind of it, it got out of hand from there. Um, talk about ball security. There was a few fumbles and a, an interception. Just uh, how do we uh, stop those things from happening in the future? Well, you know, the interception was getting hit and ball scored up in the air. Uh, obviously, fumbling is something we, we can't have. We, we got to, you know, and we work that every day, you know, just uh, holding the ball correctly and, and doing it in traffic and when you're making cuts. And, you know, it's, you get to a, a point where you're trying to create something and make something happen because you're down and, and not playing well. and. You know, Instead of just sticking with fundamentals and, uh, and and trying to create that, but you know the we never could stop the bleeding. I mean, it wasn't like you know we just uh, we weren't doing anything right. We just we couldn't stop the bleeding in in any phase. 
Um, talk about that um, that fumble return by by Terrence and how that kind of affected the last few minutes of the game. Well, the last point made us feel better. I mean, anytime the defense gets a score, that's that's you know fun to watch and, and fun to see. They did a good job on that ball scored out, and then, uh, he he was right there and did a great job recognizing it and, and getting. So you know that was obviously good. Uh, one of the one of the slim bright spots of the day.